dressed up with it's like magic All rolling and riding and sleeping and sliding It's magic And you Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. The Celestial One must deliver the Forge to the Sacred Shrine. There you can unlock its true power. Or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone, from any time period, back to the realm of the living. I'm sorry, Gamora. But there's just no way we can trust her. She's gotta go. I understand. Sister? Nebula! What are you doing? Revenge, I get it! Hey guys, a little help here? What's the matter, Quill? Is the big mean lady picking on you? for this. 
goodbye, sister. Is not your to <gasps> oh, oh, In all uh, of your tales uh, and prophecies, uh, did you happen to see this? Uh, 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 Mantis! Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. The Celestial One must deliver the forge to the sacred shrine. There you can unlock its true power or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone from any time period back to the realm of the living. I'm sorry, Gamora, but there's just... No way we can trust her. She's got to go. I understand. Sister? Nebula! What are you doing? I'm okay. We're okay. What? What, what happened? Oh, how did... How did we... Ah! We were just driving along and then you... You passed out. I'm so sorry, Peter. If you weren't here, it would have been much, much worse. This is my fault. I... I shouldn't have been acting like nothing's... What are you... It's getting worse, baby. I was supposed to check into the hospital this morning. But I just wanted to give you one last happy moment to remember me by. Before they plug me into some damn machine. 
I should have told you. I thought I could beat it. No, Mom. Don't talk like that. Peter, you need to understand what I'm saying. We all have to go, sooner or later. But it ain't over quite yet. So what do you say, hmm? One last adventure together? We can still get to the campground before dark. It should be a clear night. Every star will be out. Okay, Mom. Let's keep going. Thank you, baby. We'll make sure this memory's a keeper. So we're all in agreement then. We sell the ship and split the dough. You promised money, not the tasty combination of water and flour. Quill's just knocked out, you morons. He isn't dead. But I already called dibs on his stuff. He's got tons of earth junk in his room. I'm sure that'd fetch a few units of the trader's market. I am Groot. What could you possibly want with his jacket? It ain't gonna fit. I am Groot. Thanks, guys. Appreciate the concern. Really. Oh! Hey, P! We were totally looking out for you, man. Your stuff, your legacy, that's real important. It should be sold for as much money as possible. Oh, we're not getting back up there. Great time to have my jet boots busted. We'll have to find another way out. It's our troubled leader, Peter Quill. Just when I think things couldn't get worse, just when I think we've hit rock bottom, you managed to find us something lower. This time, literally. Yeah. Well, I am to please. Not a compliment, but okay. Hey, Groot. You holding up okay? I am Groot. Uh... He says he's thirsty. Uh, okay. Hey, Gamora. My sister. She's with the enemy. Again. For a brief moment, I thought we were past all that. He's at a loss for words. Because every time he opens his mouth, someone gets hurt. We turned Nebula away, drove her straight to Hala. We have to live with that. Hey, Drax. You see any way out of here? I have looked up. I have looked down. I have even turned in a complete circle. There is no exit. Hmm. All right. We'll keep looking. I will not rest until I find that treacherous exit. What's up, Mantis? Oh, hello. Is everything okay? I just wanted to thank you. For catching me. Anytime. And I'm sorry. 
for intruding on your memory of your mother. She seemed like a nice woman. Yeah. She was. Don't tell me you're afraid of that little guy. <laughs> yes, what a ridiculous looking creature. On my world, tunnel worms are filthy. They eat only rock and dirt. I have tried this for myself. It was incredibly destructive to my digestive system. What's friendly enough, I guess? It is. It's okay. It doesn't want to harm us. It's just... Curious. Curious about how we taste, probably. Is it chewing through that stone? Better that than us. Getting chewed to death is top five on my all-time fears list. Hungry, little fella? You want something to eat? There you go, you ugly little rock-eating guy. Huh. Bioluminescence. Probably how this thing communicates. Or draws in its unwitting quill-sized prey. It wants to stay with us. Maybe we should give it a name. Like a pet. I am excellent at naming things. I shall call it... Uh, blue. I'd call it... Hungry. No, no. Its name should be obviously a death trap. Because that's what it is. That's not any good. Well, I think the name is extremely appropriate. No, not the name. That it's hungry. The creature is just a tiny nothing. It poses no harm to us. I am constantly hungry. I have rarely injured you all. How about... Bowie? What is a Bowie? He's a musician we treat like a space god on Earth. I do not see how that is better than blue. The creature is blue. <laughs> Bowie is fine. Great. The Guardians have a mascot. I am Groot. I'm the co-pilot. I ain't no mascot. Well, would you look at that? Bowie rocks. I told you guys. He's kidding us out of here. Wait, wait, wait. No one has a problem with this. The death trap thing was not just some cute expression. It's our only way out, Rocket. <sighs> I'm putting an I told you so in my pocket for later use. Hey, Bowie, wait up! unit were this beautiful, maybe I wouldn't be so psychically scarred. Look at that. What is that? Whoa, what are you doing, Pete? That crystal there is natural torium. Just looking at one the wrong way can cause it to explode. Worth a ton of units, but highly volatile. Huh. I'm actually a little surprised no one's mined this planet dry. Maybe there's a reason no one tried. Um, not good. The 
tell me. Rocket cult. That thing led us into a death trap. They do not want to kill us. Just eat us. As I said, they're hungry. Like that makes me feel any better. Guardians, time to exterminate. like the smell of fried worms to really lift your spirits. Yes. Just like mother's cooking. Here we go. Which way? One of these has got to lead us back to Hala. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. You actually want to keep going after Hala? Did you not see her get everything she needed to execute a plan of mass genocide? She has the forge. She's gonna revive every single one of her war-loving buddies for a Let's Kill the Guardians reunion party! In retrospect, maybe I should have destroyed it. But you succumbed to the hairy devil on your shoulder, and now look where we are. That's supposed to be me. Yes, you, hairy devil. But now that he's clear of your influence, we actually do the right thing and go after Hala. You don't get the talk, Gamora. Because of you, now we gotta deal with your psycho cyborg sister, too. You're the reason she's all nuts, so. Shut your filthy rodent mouth. I know I failed her. I don't need you to twist the knife. I'm just pointing out the obvious here, because you're all too friggin' blind to say it. We go after Hala, we go after Nebula. One of us gets killed. End of story. I know her better than any of you. There could still be good in her. There's still a chance I could save her. You're being too harsh, Rocket. Oh, this is such utter crap. If no one else is going to say it, I will. I've had enough of you. All of you. I'm going my own way. Then I'm going the other. I can't stand another second with him. For once, we agree on something. Hooray! While we're down here arguing, Hala is up there using the forge. You should have destroyed it when you had the chance. Let's go, Groot. I am Groot. What? Oh, fine, you big baby. I didn't need any of you when I started in this business, and I don't need you now. Better off on my own. Gamora, wait up. Go with Gamora. I will protect the rodent. Do not worry. Sometimes I do not need to tell you how the others are feeling. Makes my job easy. you holding uh, up? God damn that filthy little rat! I don't want to say it, but 
Maybe Rocket has a point? I'm sick of his endless criticism of me and my sister. Rocket's a loudmouth. You can't let him get to you. Normally, I can shrug it off. But this time, I know he's right. pushed her away, and instead she wanted to kill me. She nearly did. <sighs> if there's no point in sugarcoating this, your sister's crazy. She and I are no different from each other. We have the same experiences. If she's crazy, then so am I. I try to help others. It always backfires. Nebula, the Nova Corps, even Rocket, they hate me. One day, assuming we survive this, you'll hate me too. I don't want to hurt you. I am Groot. No one hates you, Gamora. You're putting too much pressure on yourself. I know the truth. People fear me. Look, Kamora. Oh! <coughs> oh, God, what is this stuff? <coughs> Toxic spores. Oh, oh. <coughs> oh. Yeah, not toxic to everyone, apparently. Mm. He seems to like it. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, no. I am Groot. Am I alone in this, or was that weird? Oh, it was weird. I am Groot. That would be like you sneezing and hair sprouting all over your body. Yeah, weird. It's too far to jump. We're gonna have to find another way across. What's up, Groot? Why are you acting all weird? Groot am I. <laughs> you, my friend, are not in a right state of mind. I, I, am, am. Groot, Groot. I'm gonna get back to him. Um... Peace, dude. She can fight who she is. My sister and I, we never knew how to be anything but weapons. Flawed ones at that. She and I, 
We never had a chance. But you've changed. You're not a weapon anymore. I should be. It's all I'm good at. I'm gonna keep looking around. Good. Hey, uh, Groot, have you seen anything around we could... I am... <laughs> cool. Very helpful. I am Groot. gonna die here. Later, Groot. I am Groot. on how to get across? I'm looking. There's got to be something here we can use. I'm going to keep looking around. Good. Give this a whirl. Oh, yep, yeah, right. Still broken. Let's give this a whirl. Oh, yep, yeah, right. Still broken. This bad boy could bridge the gap. Just gotta find a way to tip it over. Hmm. Perfect. 
perfect. Can you give me a lift into that tunnel? I am Groot. Help me up into tunnel. You understand? Gah, forget it. Can you help me up into that tunnel? Yeah, let's go. Ready when... <laughs> cool. Glad I could help. Hey, Groot. We'll be right back. Not so capable without the jet boots. <laughs> yeah? Well, just try it again. Thanks. Listen, I just need you to realize something. Someone is going to get hurt. I've been ambushed before, but this time, I see the danger coming right for us. There's no way to know what's coming our way, but if things go sour, I want to know you're standing by my side. I just can't have another death on my conscience. I can't be responsible for my own family, let alone the whole galaxy. Once we get off this planet, I'm going to leave the Guardians. Gamora. If I'm alone, the only one who could get hurt is me. We did great things together, but the team's fractured. It's not like it used to be. But you'd stay for me, right? If you leave, I'm the one that gets hurt. Am I reason enough? What do... What do you mean by that? What are you trying to say to me, Peter? Well, that we're, you know, uh, we're buds. <laughs> I mean, think of everything we've done together. Life wouldn't be as fun if we split up. Yeah, well, the good times are over. We are. One, two, three! You're out of sync. Try it again. One, two, three! You're out of sync. Try it again. One, two, three! You're out of sync. Try it again. One, two, three! You're out of sync. Try it again. One, two, three! You're out of sync. Try it again. One, 
two, three! You're out of sync. Try it again. One, two, three! You're out of sync. Try it again. One, two, three! Again. One, two, three! Last time. One, two, three! That should do it. Yeah, let's get out of here. Groot? Huh? How did you even get over there? I am Groot. <sighs> Peter, wait. What you said about staying for you. You're right. But I'm trusting you to protect all of us.
yeah. Crap. You all right, Rocket? Uh, uh, I feel like I just boozed for a week, then took a header into Drax's fist. What happened? How'd you end up in the... What, in a giant alien lunch sack? Never would have happened if you'd come with me. Everyone stay quiet. I'll get your axe. Wakey, wakey, big guy. Time to get up before the worms do. Awkward hugging for today. Seriously, Trax, get off me. I will help you. No, no, not you, Mantis. No. No escape. Papa, you should have seen your face. Outwitted by your own daughter. <laughs> yes, Kamaria. You surprised me. I knew I could do it. You are getting stealthier. You have now completed the test of guile and diversion. These skills will serve you well on the warrior's path, where every child... Must leave their home and make the perilous journey to the training grounds. Take it seriously, Kamaria. I say it out of love, daughter. This path, it is not to be taken lightly. If... If I was scared, that would be all right, wouldn't it? Not that I am. It's just that... I mean... I suppose many who seek the warrior's path might have such feelings. It is normal to feel scared. It is? Yes. So use it to make yourself more focused and less reckless in battle. I must admit, I do feel a little scared, but I will be stronger for it. We don't have long. Before you leave, I promised you... The tattoo! I am ready, Papa. <laughs> I know you are. Your first tattoo marks you as a warrior in training. You will add many as your journey continues. 
Relax, daughter. It will not take long. Mount Kylos. Your mother and I had our soul union there. I don't ever want a soul union. Never. Ever. I will become a great warrior on my own. I'm not like the other scouts. Talking as if they're already warriors. They are far too childish for me. Standing with others makes you stronger. There is much you can gain by having someone at your side. Like you and Mama. Yes. She is much tougher than you. There's so little time, and sometimes I feel like there's still so much to ask you. What is it you wish to know? What if... What if I face an opponent who cannot be beaten? I am strong, but I am small. I fear that my skills will not be enough when the time comes. You already know this answer. Never surrender. It is our way. Yes. If I fall... It will be with my sword in hand. And what if... <clears throat> what will you do if I return more powerful than even you? My legend spreading across the valleys. My foes quivering in fear. I will then. I'll return more powerful than anyone. It is done. It is us. There is one last test you must pass before you can leave. Conquering the unknown. It's too far. I, I can't see what's down there. You must jump. Unless you wish to wait another year. No! I'm ready! Like you said. It's normal to feel scared. I... I can't do it. You have to help me, Papa. Wait! I get to spend another season with you even though I let you down that is not possible I am proud of you no matter what you do thank you Papa I will be stronger for you Papa, we should go home now. You have to let me go sometime. I want to leave this place of my shame and begin practicing for next year.
never should have let her go. Maybe, maybe then she would still be alive. Drax, I... Hey, that's real sad and all, but we can use some muscle over here! This is where we run. my powers on you before. I didn't mean to. It wasn't intentional. I was only trying to pull him off you. Now really isn't the time for this. Then I will be fast. I'm sorry. I promised I wouldn't make you relive someone else's memory without your permission. Whew. Okay, we can go now. The ship! There's my girl! Rocket! I'm trying! I ain't got long stick legs like the rest of you! Everyone take a seat! We're leaving! Did any of you get a good look at that thing? <laughs> what was that even? I am who? A tree? Stop yanking my tail! I am good. I'm not in a rush to find out. Whatever it is, it has feelings. They're pure. Relentless. Oh, that's just... It's gargantuan and moving. Well, are we moving or not? Don't worry, Gamora. It's goat. We need another second. Ah, oh, Rocket, you, you're killing my dramatic timing, man. Wait. I feel something. Someone is starving. No, bigger. My hunger has no equal. Ah, once we're out of here, we'll get you some food. That is one big boat. I am through. Wrong again. We're all gonna die. My JP! Not today! dead? Uh, not quite. We're lunch! Or dinner. What time is it? This slimy cave. It is... A big old stomach. What do you know? The day keeps getting better. We got problems with engines one, three, and four. Problem being, they don't work. That does not sound better. Can we still fly this thing? Not a friggin' chance. This is what I meant, Peter. Maybe if I hadn't been with the Guardians, none of you... You know, that would have been great, actually. Because then maybe this selfish butthole would make a good call for once. Me? What did I do? Are you serious? <laughs> rocket. Don't rocket me, Pete. If you come along with me, Drax, and Mantis instead of the traitorizing root vegetable over here and everyone's favorite murderer, maybe we never would have gotten nabbed in the first place. Oh, please. You kill more people in a week than I ever did for Thanos. I am Groot. Hey, anybody I knocked off either did bad to me and mine or had it coming. Uh-uh, no. I was stuck in the middle of your argument back there. 
and you guys made me choose. Yeah, and you chose the galaxy's most boring lady ever over your best friend. You weren't the one stuck down there in that, that worm vomit sleeping bag. Maybe if you learned how to fight instead of whining all the time. Sorry, I guess I got all the fight and spirit sucked out of me by friggin' worms! You know what? I've got some place you can shove. Come on, Drax, take a breath. Thank you, Peter. I will... I will sit down now. Now that is commitment. I am Groot. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. That is the second longest I have ever yelled. Last time I was unconscious for a month. We ain't got that long. If we don't find a way to repair the Milano's engines, we're gonna end up like those poor bastards. Exactly! Huh? What? Look at all those ships. There has to be some parts we can salvage out there. You forget about that internal ocean of stomach acid. You can't just take a little swim. Then get me flying again. I'll see what I can do. I mean, I sure ain't dumb enough to go out there. drop weight in order to take off. Drop weight? How exactly do we do that? Yeah, take everything that ain't bolted down and give it the old Chucky Chuck. The lighter we are, the longer we float. The easier it'll be to get airborne. But this is our home. I built my life on this ship. And if you want to continue that life, you'll have to unbuild it. Sorry. Please don't tell me the answer. Well, it didn't burst into flames. So time for round two. As long as I don't overwork the jets, I should be able to avoid the acid. I hope. doesn't want a midnight snack. Last thing we need is for the acid level to rise. ideas on how to move these engines, my boots won't be able to. It's an engine, Pete. Just turn it on. Oh, good. A giant red button. This always ends well.
I had to put in some elbow grease. Which sounds gross now that I think about it. an upset stomach. See what I can do. Would a piece of thorium work as starship fuel? I suppose so. In a sense, all fuel is just explosion, so yeah, it'll explode. Why are you asking? Oh, no reason. Just, <laughs> just curious.
doesn't work out. Oof. What a way to go. back. There's no friggin' way in hell I'm getting rid of this. I'm sacrificing all my extra knives and swords. How many swords do you have? Meanwhile, Rocket won't give up one of his guns. Yeah, but check it out. Not now, not ever. I built this thing with my own two paws. Okay. That's way too awesome to trash. See? Quill understands the value of a good gun. They don't understand. Possessions are meaningless. All that matters is the trail of blood we leave after slaughtering those who have wronged us. Oh, that's some image. After our shared experience, Quill, I discarded everything. Even the things that reminded me of my beloved Kamaria and Hovat. I'm sure it must have been tough. It was. Supremely. But after you entered me... <laughs> yeah, I, I entered your mind, right? I knew it was the right thing. Well, at least you actually listened to me. Unlike some people. You see that, everyone? Drax went and threw everything away. You should follow his example. Why? Shouldn't our leader set the example? You hear that, Groot? I guess Drax is our leader now. I am leader? Your room is still full of keepsakes, Peter. Since I'm the leader now, I request that you all kneel before me. No, no, just, just stop. Let me show you how it's all done, okay? I'm gonna go back to my room and sacrifice the crap out of some personal stuff. Throwing away 
away their belongings is certainly upsetting the others. What is it about these things? Why do they hold so much emotional weight? Why does your loyalty to things outweigh your devotion to others? These things aren't just things. They define us. <laughs> I'm a long way from home. These are the last reminders I have of who I am. They're you! Of course! Hello, Peter! I will think about this more. There is much I can learn from you, it seems. One thing I learned about the Guardians is nobody ever makes sense. Alright. Let's get started. Oh, man. This one's pretty emotional for me. My first hunt back on Rayjack. <laughs> I remember it like yesterday. Finished first place for taking down a massive... I sense a lie. Last place. This was a trophy just for participating. Screw the pity prize. Yondu gave me this. Not sure how he'd feel knowing I dumped it. This Yondu has a strange way of showing affection. He has a lot of strange ways. Trash. A photo of me and Mom. You should keep that. It weighs little in your hand, but much in your mind. No, I'm keeping this. Besides, it doesn't weigh a thing. All right. Let's see what we got over here. It's my weight set. Just in case you were wondering where this incredibly muscular bod comes from. I wasn't. Take one last look at this bod, because after today, we're taking the fast train to Tubbsville. My toy ray gun from Earth. I used to bring this with me everywhere as a kid. I mean, the galaxy is a dangerous place. <laughs> My emergency stash of Centauri spirits. They helped me to... Act like a fool? No. Relax. They helped me to relax. Nah. Need to keep my wits about me. Well, the dream of a Guardians baseball team dies today. I've never owned anything before, but I wish I had something to throw away. To help the team. Even though you said these things are who you are, and I do not want to throw you away. Here, you can start your own collection of odds and ends. That you'll be forced to throw away in order to escape a giant alien worm. Thank you, Peter. This is the best... Baseball glove. The best baseball glove I've ever seen. Gather round and be led by example. Huh. Looks like you kept a few things. Only the essentials. I guess this is a case where half-assed is better than no-assed. I'm actually a little surprised he came back with anything. My ego swelling here. All right, since you're not absolutely pathetic, I'll ditch the guns. Hmm. Fine. Same with my swords. I am Groot. Man, that is really sad. Isn't it like a cousin or something? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. You should keep it. Agreed. And what of this one? Bowie! How did it get in here? 
probably followed us through the caves. This is why you don't befriend strange creatures. Nah, no way. Get rid of it. But he's so lonely. That little bastard ran us straight into a trap. You don't know that. He ran just as the other creatures appeared. We're keeping him. That's the end of it. Fine. What else we got to ditch? Well, I think Mantis has something to... I don't know what you mean. <clears throat> the thing I gave you to, to give away. Oh, I want to keep it now. But you said to be a part of the team. Yes, but it's mine. Yes, yours to give away. Politely decline. Let the bug keep it, Pete. Jeez. He obviously does not want me to have the baking glove. <laughs> Baseball. Great, great. So, we all did the thing and got rid of some stuff and we're such great friends now. But there's something I'd like to point out. The tape deck. I've done the numbers and that thing has to go. Fuck it. It's how we listen to tunes. It's how I share myself it's real weird and all but even with everything we're ditching it's still gonna be close we want to play it safe we gotta toss it okay you win today's the day the music dies Drex <laughs> It is dead. Okay, with that thing gone, the rest of the stuff we stripped, and those extra engines, we should actually be able to get out of here. Then it's go time. It's now or never. After Groot and I install the engines you found? Yep, right after that. Exactly. Bust out of this rock lobster? Engines are online, Pete. Now we just gotta uh, pick an exit. Uh, are you actually implying? Yes, this worm is a meat tunnel. We could either go out the mouth side or the back side. I am Groot. <laughs> Groot doesn't want to fly out of a giant worm's giant posterior. We're already facing the colon. We should head out the Would colon. Would you stop saying that word? That is the word for what it is. It is a colon. Well, I vote mouth. We already know the Milano uh, fits that way. I ain't got a ton of interest getting wedged in this thing's... Uh, Say it, raccoon. Say colon. Wormhole. Oh, I can't believe we're wasting time arguing about this. This is what's wrong with this team. The mouth has teeth. This creature could bite us in half. Knowing the weird crap we've seen in this place, I'm sure its butt has teeth, too. I think going out the front end is best. Everything barfs. We'll just make it do that. You wish to reverse this creature's digestive tract? The path of least resistance would be... Do not say colon! You just said colon! <laughs> I'm going to fly now! It's working! And it's gonna be gross. Still beats the alternative. How do you know? Just get us out alive, please. No problem. We'll be out of here faster than you can say. Projectiles on. Man, you guys are totally missing out. Okay, we never tell anyone about this. Would it be considered irony if I vomited right now? Mm. Irony averted. 
I have swallowed it. Oh, good. It sounds like somebody's coming back for seconds. Okay, okay, I hear you. Looks like one of our shiny new engines got itself turned off during our grandiose exit back there. Can we fix it? Sure, you can. Just climb out onto that wing and turn it back on. <laughs> no, I didn't volunteer. Yeah, well, you're the only one who can sort of fly, so it's got to be you. Uh, fine. Okay, I'm out here. Are you going to slow down so I can do this? And let the giant hungry monster catch up to us again? I don't think so. I'm just going to tilt the ship so you can walk around the wing. Ready? Uh, I don't think that's a safe One, two, three. Ah. There's a rumor going round on a few It's coming! Hey, the robot! Okay, okay, I gotta break this thing! Hold on to something! Rocket, don't get there! Oh, 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 Good. Now, when you get to the engine, all you gotta do is hit the big blinky button on the side. Can you handle that? Yes, Rocket. I think I can manage the simple task of... Hey! Hey! Peacefully resolve the situation with our knives. I am Never did for Hovat and Kamaria. I told my daughter to never surrender. That is what I must do now. This day, 
I honor her by doing the same. I will go alone into battle and slice this beast from mouth to colon. You will not have a good day. Whoa! You better do something quick down there! The ship's breaking up! Please, Peter, give me this. Drax. We're losing engine power! I am We can't keep this up! Tell me what I have to do. Hit the button once I am inside. I will take care of the rest. Thank you. My family will be proud. And I will tell them of my best friend, Peter Quill. did did the trick whoa you okay nice work buddy i am groot why what happened you okay pete where's drax Guardians have a Hall of Fame. He's going in. What's that mean? He jumped from the airlock to slow the creature down. No! What? He's... gone? We have to go back. Hold on, hold on. We can't go back. We're limping as it is. Also, this is how you keep us together. By launching one of us out the airlock? Be a long ride to nowhere. She looks pretty rough, huh? Ugh. It smells even worse. Not that I'm surprised. After what we've put her through. We'll fix her up. She'll look and smell good as new. Yeah. We can fix this, right? I'm not so sure the ship's ever gonna be the same, Pete. thing about, you know, with, uh, ah, damn it, Pete, Drax, what I'm saying is, I know it must have been tough, but it was the right call, glad I didn't have to make it, so, uh, yeah, I think his family would be proud, I hope he gets to see them again, yeah, I don't, I don't really believe that, but, Nice thought. His family. 
family would be proud? Yeah, whatever you have to tell yourself, Peter. Oh, come on! Look around, Rocket. There's one less guardian standing here in case you hadn't noticed. You need to back up. I just thought we had a leader who would fight for us. All of us. I just want to hear what he was thinking. I'm with Pete on this one. Hey, what would you have done, Gamora? Because I can tell you. You would have done the exact same thing I did. One guardian versus the rest of us. That's the call. If that's what you think I'd do, then you don't know me at all. Please, the anger is overwhelming. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to tell you one more time, lady. Back up. You back up. I ain't going anywhere. <sighs> don't. The guy did what he had to Stop do. Stop it, please. I ain't happy about Drax being gone, but I am happy to still be breathing. You should embrace that a little bit. That we can stand here having this stupid argument I at all. I trusted Peter to keep us all safe. I thought he understood that. <laughs> I guess not. We talked about this in the caves, and you still don't get it. And now I have another death weighing on me. Ah! I can't take it! There is too much conflict with you! Too much anger, resentment, and sadness. Your pain is overwhelming each of you. It's too much for me to be around. If you disagree with each other so much, why don't you all simply walk away? Your feelings for one another are all at war. It is more than I wish to bear. Well, because we're family. And you don't quit on family. Like you didn't quit on Drax. Like Drax didn't quit on all of us. Like you're not going to quit until we're all patronized to death? Being around you, this is too painful for me. Thank you for freeing me and teaching me that the loudest shouter is usually the most correct. But I must go. That's gotta be some sort of record. She's basically been chained to us up until now. She gets two minutes of free will and we drive her away. I am Groot. I am proud of myself in a weird way. You're right about one thing, Peter. We are family. But Thanos was my family too. And sometimes being in a family sucks. So, good luck. Mora, wait. Please, don't do this. It wasn't me who did this, Peter. It was you. I got one word for you, Pete. Yikes. I am Groot. What? Why would you do that? What? What, what did he say? Groot, come on! I am Groot. He's going! He's leaving us. I am Groot. Peter? What about me? I am Groot. What about Rocket? You guys are best friends. Yeah, what about me? I am Groot. He says he doesn't want Mantis to be alone. I am Groot. That I have you. I am Groot. He knows what it's like to be the last of his kind and alone. Just go on, why don't you? Oh, Who 
knew trees had such big hearts, huh? What a jerk. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss that tree. Yeah, me too. Well, Rocket, I guess you'll be leaving too. About that, I think I'm gonna stick around for a while. I mean, it's clear you couldn't get on without me. Besides, I'm in the market for a new partner. Thanks, pal. Hey, this is purely a business decision. I expect results. Well, what now? Only one thing left to do at a moment like this. Barkeep! Two of your most lethal concoctions, please. Better make it three. Next up is Best idea you've had in a long time. Eight or nine rounds, then we find Hall. We have some breaking news. Reports are flying in about a violent Kree attack on Jabari 5. Millions are feared dead. Hey, Pete. I found her. I'll see if that drink maker can pour something stronger. We're gonna need it. We need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> 